Hi Stampers, it's Nancy from StampAndShout.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This week I'm doing quick and short videos using the Beautiful Balloons stamp set and the coordinating dies. So let's get started. So I'm here every day at noon. We pick one stamp set a week and then I make five projects and I share them with you. This is the thing we made on the first day on Monday. We made a treat holder and a cute little tag. And then the next day we did designer series balloons. So I cut out the balloons out of the pretty bright and beautiful designer series paper. And then we added that pretty fringe and all that are from is from the die cuts. And today we're going to make a slimline card. So we cut out a lot of balloons here. It's time for a celebration. So let's get started. So the base for this is white and it is cut to eight and a half by seven, and then it's scored at three and a half, and that gives us our slim line. Then I have a piece of black for the layer that is eight and a quarter by three and a quarter, and then our white stamping piece, which is eight by three. And then I have the inside pieces too, which we'll stamp on in a little bit. I will have all the sizes and the colors that I used and shopping supplies and links on my blog, stamp and shout at blogspot.com. One other thing is go ahead and say hi. Let us know what you think about the cards or let us know where you're from or whatever's on your mind. And if you leave a comment, you will be entered to win today's card. So every week on Monday, I will announce the winners from the prior week. So we'll have five winners. So again, this is today's card. And let's get started. Let's see here. I already went ahead and I cut out all the balloons. And again, I will tell you the colors of the balloons on the blog. We'll go ahead and talk about it as we're going. I just want to make sure you know that that information will be on my blog. So we're just going to bring this piece in for now. And we're going to do some stamping here. So I have medium sized balloons and large balloons. So let me bring in that die set. So I used the largest die like this. It's got a hole in the center. And then I use this one, which is solid, but it still gives you the same, the same look. So I use the medium and the large dies to cut out today's balloons. The next thing I did was I did some stamping. So I brought in the little dotted stamp that's going to give our balloons a little bit of texture. So that's that stamp right there. And I stamped each balloon in the color that it is. So I'm going to get started here. Then I'm going to turn the camera on a little quicker so you don't have me, you don't have to watch me stamp each one. But this one is real red. So I just stamped real red on right on that balloon. We'll just do a couple and then I will fast forward. Or Orchid Oasis, that's this balloon here. And I just stamped right in the middle. Okay, so we have all the balloons stamped with the little pretty uh, confetti. And now I'm going to go ahead and line them up how I think I'm going to want them to be. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp the strings. To stamp the strings, I'm going to use basic gray. stamp. I'm going to kind of turn this this way so I can stamp it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stamp the strings. Just like that.
Next, I am going to go ahead and stamp my happy birthday. So I'm going to bring this balloon out. That's the one I want my happy birthday on. So I'm going to ink that up in memento black. And I'm going to angle it. And it gave us a nice color, nice deep black color. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring in the inside of the card. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp. It's time for a celebration. Kind of huffing on it gives it a little bit of heat. There you go. You get a really nice solid color. So then I did a little bit more fussing. I brought in the little teeny tiny stamp that's got all the little swirls and the confetti. And then I kind of stamped it here and there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just do a couple of swirls. And I actually did this one once the balloons were more in place. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this matte piece, this black piece, down to the front of our card. Then I'm going to go ahead and put this piece together. So I used Real Red, Flirty Flamingo, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Tahitian Tide, Orchid Oasis, Real Red or Sweet Sorbet, Petal Pink, and Highland Heather. So the first thing I did was I glued some of them down. I laid the red one down, the yellow one down, the blue one down, and the red one down. And I glued those down first. Some of them are going to be glued, some of them are going to be popped up. I'll put that one there. And it's okay to have them kind of go off the paper. That kind of makes it look more interesting. So however it works out is what we're going to do. So I'm laying the first layer down with glue. And then the next one is this Tahitian Tide, which that one goes right there. And I'm gluing that one. And I'm bringing my dimensionals and start popping them up. And I just put one on one dimensional on each one. Also, this pick a tool is great for getting the uh, the backing off the dimensionals. I'll put two on this one, this big balloon. So then just flipped it over and just trimmed it down to the card size. Pretty. 
So I'm going to do a little bit more stamping on here with that pretty uh, confetti stamp just to add a little bit more interest to the card. Okay, let's just glue this on the front. And for the inside, we'll put these two pieces together. And there you go. So we have a slimline card using the beautiful balloons stamp set and dies. So the, what we did with this one was we cut out the balloons using different colored cardstock and then stamped on each of the cardstock to give it that little special feature. And I think it turned out really cute. What do you think? So good. Go ahead. Leave your comments to be entered to win today's card. I'll announce the winners on Monday. I'll be back tomorrow at noon. So don't be shy. Stamp and shout.